Hey, hey family, it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with another makeup haul. So a little bit of makeup, well mostly makeup, a little bit of skincare, still continuing in my Curate Your Beauty, only to realize like that I, I really, really miss makeup as a hobby. So um, I know it looks like I'm doing a lot of shopping all together, but the reality was I've actually filmed these videos that you've been seeing recently over a couple of months and I just finally decided to put them all out so it's not like your girl is out here just shopping shopping away but I am really allowing myself to enjoy this passion of mine that I kind of buried for a long long time and uh, you know allowed myself to make it wrong so if you are in for a good old-fashioned haul then stay tuned I've got some I've got several eyeshadow palettes, I've got some luxury beauty, I've got some kind of mid-tier beauty, um, just a couple of body products, but anyway, so let's start with, I wonder, should I do this by brand or should I do this by category? Okay, let's start with the body care first, because I just have two body care items that I picked up recently that I have been enjoying. Now, I didn't buy all this at the same time, so this is like a collective haul, if you will. So first things first is I picked up this Safadi, uh, Safadi, <laughs> what? I think I was trying to say Sephora body and it came across as a body. Okay, I picked up the Sephora um, body all day body hydrator. I, I promise I speak English. Um, and this is what it looks like. Let me tell you this. I was a little skeptical, right? Look how thick this is. So it feels like a body butter and a lotion had a baby or a body cream and a lotion had a baby it's like I mean it's not gonna move okay now the scent is kind of floral I'm not a huge fan of floral scents but I actually really really like this because I told you guys that I have been on the hunt for like a new lotion I really really like this and to give you an update on the fresh body lotion from one of my previous videos that I was kind of like oh I wasn't really enjoying I actually I guess I just needed to give it a minute or shake it up or do something because I've actually really been enjoying it I'm not in love with the scent on that one either uh, like I don't dislike it just like I don't dislike this it's just not my favorite scent but I do enjoy the level of moisturization because while my face is oily my body is super dry so uh, really really enjoying this and this says shea butter so and I definitely can feel that there is some shea butter in here. I don't know where shea butter is on the list of ingredients because let's see here. It's in, um, it's number one, two, th it's number four. Okay. So obviously water is the number one ingredient. So that I've really been enjoying that. And then I also picked up a sample and I think correct me in the uh, comments again if I'm wrong because again I should be able to pronounce this I, I used to could speak French a little bit but I think the brand is called L'Occitane but I picked up a sample of their shower oil their almond shower oil listen my dry body skin was like yes please and thank you so as you can see I've used a little bit of it so I've used it maybe three or four times I'm gonna be buying a full size of this in the winter if you like that sweet almond scent, um, which I do, it definitely gives me wintertime vibes. But this, like, oh, I, 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 it does lather, believe it or not. Um, but it's not overly lathering, and it doesn't feel like a layer of oil is left on your skin. So it doesn't feel like that. It just feels, it just feels very moisturizing. Like my current shower gel, I think I, I use Shea Moisture. It, I don't feel stripped with that either. I just feel more moisturize with this so those are the two body products that I have picked up and I am loving those now let's get into um, let's get into some skincare and skin prep well let me say this I also picked up this doesn't really have a category the Sephora detox deep cleaning brush and sponge shampoo I haven't used this yet but 
I am not the best about cleaning my brushes in a timely fashion so I thought if I had a product that was specifically designated to clean my brushes and kept it in my makeup area that I would at least clean my brushes weekly because that is currently not what's happening and I do wear makeup every week not every day but every week so that's in its own little category now let's get into some skincare so some of these are things that I purchased and then some of these are things that I got is like samples um, with my order because I bought from a couple of, like this include this haul has like Sephora Ulta and then some things straight from some of the brands sites so I picked up I wanted to try the Urban Decay all-nighter face primer okay and this is what it looks like because I think most of us are familiar with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I, I don't use setting spray in the way most people use it. I actually use the setting spray to wet my foundation brush and then I go in with my foundation. Um, but I do use a primer and so I like the All Nighter Setting Spray. Like your makeup does not move with that setting spray. So I wanted to try the primer so I bought a sample of that. I also picked up this little kit from Lancome. It came like in a little um, plastic zip top bag, if you will. And it is the Lancome Prep and Matte Primer. So it's that. It's the Lancome Fix It, Forget It spray. And then it's the Lancome. Um, this is the basically uh, a lash primer. I will say this. This little kit that I bought, this was $18. I don't know if I feel like this was worth $18. I mean, I'm definitely getting several uses out of it. I do like the primer because I like a matte primer, but I don't want to feel like my face is like, you know, like that. <laughs> like, I don't want to feel like my face is vacuum sealed. I will say the lash primer is really good. I, I don't have it on today, but I have really curly lashes and so I'm usually fairly you know good with most mascaras but this this has made a difference and I have not tried the fix it forget it and again I would probably use it in the way where I would spray my foundation brush with this and then apply it to um, and then apply that to my face so I picked that up now with my order I had enough points to get another um, like Sephora kind of major sample box and so I chose the um, Fresh box and it came with four products. So I got the, the Fresh Sugar Advanced uh, Therapy Lip Treatment. Um, so this is a mini one and it's clear, right? So, um, and I love that it's kind of, so it's, I mean, but it's a fairly decent size. Like it's clear. This is great for, you know, in your purse, um, on the go. Um, so that came in the little four part kit. I think like when you I think I had like 500 points to use on this one I also got the fresh black tea age delay eye concentrate and So let me open this up for you so you can see this as well. Oops Maybe I should have taken them out of the boxes before y'all know like I said I got to get my rhythm and with being a, a, a beauty content creator. So this is it. I've actually already used this once um it's got a little lid in the inside but that's what it looks like it has a very like i mean the faintest faintest scent but i i've used this once or twice i think i've liked it so far um but in all fairness there's very few eye creams that i met that i didn't like so there's that okay also with that with that 500 point package that I got I also got the fresh rose deep hydration face cream and so this is this is the sample um I've used this it's okay it it definitely smells like roses I am realizing that I mean I don't dislike the smell of roses but there are other face creams where I like the fragrance better um but it was okay like you know I think this is a great like light you know I would wear this under makeup um, when I don't want something super heavy because again my face is very oily and then also um in that set 
is the fresh soy face cleanser for all skin types so and I have not tried this yet because I have several cleansers that, I, that I'm currently working through so that whole little set with my 500 points oh can I oh can can I grip it um had these four products in it which I think was good so this is like the kind of the same kind of deal that I did in one of my previous videos where I got the La Mer set it's just that these samples are substantially larger <laughs> than the La Mer ones but um no complaints there so I picked up the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base I've heard um lots of great things about this I've heard Emily Noel specifically talk about this so this is what it looks like it is a very very thick rich cream and it has like a really light slightly citrusy scent here's the thing I will use this in the winter time I my skin is too oily to use this in the summer if you have dry skin sis get this I think you would love it because it's like a moisturizer and a primer together I would use this in the winter time well I, I won't even say all of winter but my skin when the weather changes for like a week is dry and then it just goes back into being oily so this would be perfect for that but I, I I don't see myself buying a full size of that not because I think it's bad I actually thought it was very very moisturizing and it held my makeup very well but because I have oily skin and it's extremely emollient okay so I also picked up from Sephora I picked up this sugar poppy uh, sugar tinted lip treatment sunscreen SPF 15 in the shade poppy and that's what I'm wearing today so I like a sheer lip um, I like it a little bit glossy but I don't necessarily need it to be as glossy as a gloss but I don't necessarily need it to be as opaque as a lipstick but I, I love like a sheer wash of color for every day now if I'm going to go speak or um, you know taking photos or um, you know going to an event or anything like that I do like more of an opaque lip color but like for every day and I just want a little a little something on the lips I really enjoy this it has a very strong scent it tastes and this is what it looks like this is the color um, it it's I don't I don't know what this scent is but it tastes it's it's very very sweet so if you do not like scented products you're not gonna like this I will say this I don't smell it when it's on my face I just smell it in the tube when I put it on but it smells I mean it almost smells like lemon frosting like that's how sweet it smells okay so I picked that up and then I also picked up the LYS no limit matte um, bronzer so I wanted to try this brand and I initially thought that the color because I got worthy which is deep I actually thought that the color was too deep but I'm wearing it today kind of around the perimeter of my face and down my neck a little bit um, I actually thought this color was too deep but what I realized is like the colors the color bronzers that I've been currently using are just really really subtle I definitely feel like I can see a sculpt today without it looking too crazy so I really really like it I feel like it just like melts into my skin I've used this a couple of times I love love the packaging I love that it is a clean beauty brand a black owned beauty brand and it's kind of hitting me in that mid tier high end not definitely not luxury but I, I really enjoy that because those are my three favorite categories of of makeup products which is high-end luxury black owned and clean like those three categories like I'm, I'm always gonna be curious about black owned brands I'm always gonna be curious about clean beauty brands and I'm always gonna be curious about um, high-end and luxury brands so this this checks all three so I definitely want to try that out okay so now let's get into I did a little shopping oh I've got two more palettes that um well do I want to do this by eyeshadow or by brand hmm okay I'm gonna do it by both so also from Sephora 
I picked up two Viseart palettes. So I already had two Viseart palettes, which one was the Libertine palette, which is in the same format as Trist, which is this one, which I really like that format. And then one was the Dark Edit, which was a mini version. So I picked up Trist and I picked up Minxad. Let me tell you, I this this format, which I don't think Viseart, I, I have a feeling they're discontinuing these because this was like 50% off, or maybe they're just discontinuing this colorway. But this palette, let me let me take this off here. This palette is so pretty and romantic. And even on me, I can wear the majority of this palette, right? So this, this color is a great one and done shadow. Let me tell you, this color right here looks like it's not doing much. It is so gorgeous on the eye. And I've also used this as blush. Okay, I've used this color in the middle as like an ever so slight highlight and y'all know I'm not even a big highlight wearer and it is beautiful. So I love, um, I love this format with the mirror and all of that kind of stuff. So what's interesting about me and Viseart is when I first bought their palettes, I wasn't impressed. Like I was like, what's the hype about? You know, like I got them and I didn't feel like the packaging was super luxe and I was just like, okay, you know, like the colors, they work or whatever. And then one day I got it. Like I was, I was like, let me really give this a try. And I dug into it and I was like, I get it so much so that I had to go out of town recently and I didn't want to take like a big crazy palette and so I brought along um, Viseart Mink Set. If you like an everyday neutral brown look which that's like that's my signature look like some people say everyday makeup I don't wear makeup every day but I definitely have a signature look that I do like it's my go-to when I don't know what to do this palette is it so first of all the size is super travel friendly the way it's packaged is super travel friendly um you know it's got the flap really while i'm trying to film okay so let's put my computer on do not disturb okay <laughs> so yes it has a mirror in here and then it has like this protective coating um these colors oh my gosh first of all this color is a dual chrome which is gorgeous this deep color right here actually works as a deep color for me a lot of times when palettes have a dark brown they're not deep enough for me this color is beautiful the, this bronzy shade is gorgeous this works as is a beautiful blush topper for me this is an amazing <clears throat> transition shade on me like buff out shade this is a dual chrome like I don't even know if the camera is doing it justice. Can you see that? It is so gorgeous. Okay, convenient everyday eyeshadow palette where you can get a few variety of looks in and travel friendly. Mink set is the one. I was looking for a palette like this, kind of this size, kind of, oh, it, I, I really enjoy it. I really, really, I really, really enjoy it. I finally get the hype behind Viseart. So, picked up these two pa Ooh, these two palettes. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about what I picked up from Ulta recently. So, recently my mom uh, wanted to like revamp her makeup collection. And what's interesting is she told me the story like that before I was born, she was super duper into makeup and she would go to the makeup shows and the makeup counters and like buy all that they had. And I think I've mentioned when I was younger that she um, like as a, as like a little side business, she was doing like home shows with this makeup and skincare company called Alouette, right? Which, and she would take me along, which is how I kind of got into skincare um, and makeup by watching her do that, right? And so she's kind of dipping her toe back in, but we started her with kind of more like drugstore stuff. But when I was in Sephora, I picked up some blush because y'all know blush is my <laughs> blush is my favorite makeup product. Like it's my favorite. And so um, I ha I currently have two blush palettes from Juvia's Place that I really, really enjoy. So I wanted to pick up this blush duo called Blush Blush Rouge. I think this was called Volume 1. 
and um, I'm wearing it today, right? So I'm wearing it today. I do have a little bit of a shimmery NARS blush on top, but I am wearing the color, the, I'm wearing this color right here. That's the color I'm wearing. I've already played with both of these. It actually has a mirror in it, which I think is new for Juvia's Place because their palettes typically don't have mirrors. It, it kind of sits upright like this, right? This is also great. You could travel with that. Um, I really like it. And even though the blushes are matte, right? Um, they're matte, but they're not chalky matte, right? Where they just look like it's just like a streak of colored powder on your skin. Because I don't mind a matte blush. I do like a shimmery blush. I don't mind a matte blush, but it needs to have a really soft matte finish or a satin finish. And I feel like this just blends right into the skin. I definitely didn't feel like there was just like matte powder on my face. So enjoying that from Juvia's Place. And then y'all, y'all know I love, I love, 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 love NARS blush, okay? And I think that NARS's signature, like I feel like what NARS is known for is their blush. So they are recently in Ulta and I saw this on, I saw this, I think it might've been on Trend Mood that they were releasing two blush quads exclusively to Ulta and y'all I picked up the basic instincts two cheek quads so this is kind of like the deeper version <sighs> I'm in love I I I'm in love I actually just got these yesterday first of all it's got that kind of soft matte rubberized packaging that is on some of Nars's lip products this is to me the perfect travel blush palette let me show it to you let me show it to you. Tell me, tell me, tell me, who, who is doing it better? Who is doing it better as far as blush palettes? So, and apparently I think these are some of their top sellers. So in here you have, I believe this is Taj Mahal, which is a very popular color. Like if you've been on YouTube any amount of time and you are a deeper complexion. People have talked about Taj Mahal for years. This is my first time trying it. I believe that this is Torrid, which is gorgeous. It's like a fiery coral. Then there's Savage and Exhibit A, which I don't know which is which, but surprisingly, this, it looks like it's not doing much. This is probably my favorite color in here because it's kind of got like a bronzy, pinky, mauvey base, but it's like duochrome. And then this pink probably looks like it's going to be chalky or whatever. It actually has a sheen to it and it actually looks beautiful on my skin. So that's what that is looking like. It is so, so pretty. So that is the NARS Basics Instinct, Basic Instincts to Cheek Quad and I love it. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Yes, I only have one face, and so only so many blushes can go on it, but I like to layer blushes, and that is what it is. Okay, so now let's get into the last two brands that I have purchased things from, and the first one is Natasha Denona. So I think I told you guys, Natasha Denona, Viziar, and Pat McGrath make my favorite eyeshadow formulas, palettes, you name it. So I decided to pick up the Natasha Denona Love Palette and the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Have I already talked about these? I, I might have. If I already have, it's too late. Um, but they were in a bundle for $110. I, like this is feeling very deja vu-ish, so I'm feeling like I've already talked about these and I just haven't edited the video. But I've already played in these. This is the Love Palette. This is actually what I'm wearing today on the eyes. So, um, I like if you are into pinky purples and all of that, I love this. Now, I know a lot of people, their like reviews on this are very mixed. I've used it four times now. I really enjoy it. This color right here, gorgeous on me on the lid. It's like so electric, but that's the Love Palette. And I also picked up the Sunrise Palette. I don't know what, I think I have talked about these. 
Have I? Y'all, if I did, I'm so sorry. You can just skip this section. Um, or if you missed that video, if I did do it, then here we are. This is Sunrise. Let me tell you why I love this palette. Because as fiery as these shades are, okay, on me, this is a palette of beautifully pigmented, warm transitions. And I absolutely love it for that reason. This is one of the few palettes in my collection where I basically can use every single color in the palette comfortably, like, and not like trying to make it work. Even the lighter shades, I definitely have a purpose for that. And I just love this size palette from Natasha Denona. Like her midi size palettes are my favorite. They're like they're, I just feel like they're the perfect palette size. So last but not least is I picked up a few things from Pat McGrath when she was having a sale. And I think I told you before that I had picked up her um, concealer and that's what I'm wearing today. And I really, really love it, but I wanted a lighter shade. So I picked up D31. And I think the other color I have is D33, which works great as a perfect skin tone. And this is like a highlighting shade for me. And I actually have a combination of the two um, on me right now. So love that. Pick that up. I also picked up past foundation. So I picked this up in the shade. I feel like I've done this already too. I could be tripping. I feel like I've done this. This is in the shade Deep 33. And it's a little red on me, um, but I have a very hard to match undertone. I am obviously deep skin tone, deep slash rich in most brands, but I have a neutral with a hint of warmth undertone. So I definitely can make it work. I think it's beautiful. It's very light on the skin. It's very liquidy on the skin. Um, I like that. It's not as matte, obviously, as I would like. It definitely gives me like a skin-like finish, um, but you know, powder and things like that. I think, I just think it looks gorgeous on the skin so that's I don't have it mixed with anything else I mean obviously I have on like primer and powder but I'm wearing this foundation today and I think it looks fantastic so pick that up and I think in my Pat McGrath blush video I was telling you that um I love her lip divinal formula and that flesh 7 was a limited edition color and I really loved it because it was more neutral, but it was a more neutral version of Flesh 3. And I had a mini of Flesh 3. So I picked up a full size of Flesh 3. And I absolutely love it. So it's this is a great nude on me that's a little bit warmer. So when I'm wearing kind of those bronzy looks, you know, those, those brown, bronze, goldy looks. Like this is the perfect, you know, sheer lip product for me. And I just, I, I, I love it. And there's no fragrance okay and then last but not least because she was having a sale i picked up another mothership i did i picked up another mothership so it's editing evelyn here doing a voiceover and i just realized that i actually did a complete video with natasha denona and pat mcgrath so I am going to end this video here and i will link in the cards to the video that i did about this haul and i'm so sorry about the confusion and i knew i was having deja vu i knew i wasn't crazy and i hope you enjoyed this video anyway please bear with me as i get my bearings around doing these kind of videos and i will see you in my next one peace